We are called to be like him. We become like him through receiving his love and being with him. Not just incorporating a little bit into our lives. We are not just to go to church and that's it. We've done our check mark. We've done our thing. We're not just supposed to give to a certain congregation or to... We're, we're supposed to give our all to him and become his very image. We are called to glorify him by becoming his very image which is what we were intended to become we were in our intended design is to become like jesus and this is um amazing because it we can't do it without his help we have to do it with the help of the holy spirit which transforms us into his very image which is what greater image is there than jesus Jesus is the perfect image. He was the perfect man. Um, Revelations three, fifteen to 16. We all know th that you do. All, all, I know all that you do. And I know all, that you are rather frozen in empathy. Nor fervent with passion. I wish you were either... Either one, but because you're neither cold nor hot, but lukewarm, I will spit you out of your mouth. There's no in-between. There's no just, um, I've done my deed, now I can go and enjoy the world. God wants us fully passionate about Him and giving our all to Him. Colossians 2, 6-7, through 7, in the same way you've received Jesus our Lord and Messiah by faith, Continue your faith, progressing further into the union with Him. Your spiritual roots will go down deeply into His life as you continually infused with strength and courage in every way. For you are established in the faith. I, you have absorbed and enriched by your devotion to him we are to be rooted in him and what is god god is love and so when we are rooted in love not man's version of love but rooted in god's version of love what love actually is what true unconditional love is when we're rooted in that that transforms us and strengthens us and encourages us enriches us and also helps us to be more devoted to him. Matthew sixteen twenty four. If I truly if you truly want to follow me, you should at once completely reject and disown your own life. You must not be willing to share you must be willing to share my cross and experience it as your own. As you continually surrender to my ways. And that's what we have to do. We have to give our all to him. It, there's not halfway in. If I, my pastor Daryl gave an example of having one foot on the boat and one foot on the dock. And that's what a lot of us do. And the boat is leaving. So we're going to end up in the water. We can't have it both ways. We have to be fully devoted or or not in it at all and i pray that you are fully devoted because the life is so much better it's not that we don't see trials we're promised trials and persecution we're gonna go through things but we have a hope that helps us through it and he equips us to overcome every situation galatians 2 20 my old identity has been co-crucified with Christ and no longer lives. And now the essence of this new life is no longer mine. For the anointed one who lives through me, we live in union as one. The new life is empowered by the faith of the Son of God who loves me so much that he gave himself for me, dispensing his life into mine. How amazing is it that we were co-crucified when we gave our lives to God. He took our place and then now we are now wrapped in his 
in his essence and who he is and God sees us as Jesus. There's verses that talk about he loves us the way that he loves Jesus. The Father loves us the way he loves Jesus and that's just an incredible fact to know. Um, Romans 12, 1 to 2, beloved friends, what should be our proper response to God's marvelous mercies to surrender ourselves to God to be sacred a sacred living sacrifice to live in holiness experiencing all the delights of his heart for this becomes our genuine expression of worship stop imitating the ideals and opinions of culture around you but be inwardly transformed by the holy spirit through a total reformation of what you think this will empower you to discern god's will as you live a beautiful life satisfying and perfect in his eyes That's just beautiful. That I love that verse. I love that verse. And I just want to say I love the game Lifestyle Christianity. If you haven't heard of Todd White, go check him out. But we are to live a lifestyle of Christianity. It is not supposed to be just this, I, I do this deed and now I can act like everybody else. We are called to be different. We are from cut from a different cloth. And so I just thank you. For listening to this and I encourage you to be more fully devoted don't just incorporate him a little bit go all in he's worthy and he will reward those who diligently seek him Hebrews eleven six. and without faith living within us it is impossible to please God for we come to God in faith knowing that he is real and he rewards the faith of those who passionately seek him. Please passionately seek him. Please passionately seek him. He will reward you. It will be worth it. Whether it's in this life or another life. You will be rewarded. So count it a blessing. I just want to urge you guys to keep going in God. And God bless you.